Hey everybody, it's Linnea here for Ink on 3. Today I'm going to create a simple card using some masked stenciling techniques. And this is something that's really easy and I think a lot of us could do this. All you need is some masking tape and a stencil of your choice. So I have a piece of cardstock and this is cut to A2 size, so four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And now I'm taking some purple tape, that's my choice of masking tape, and I'm going to mask off three quarters of an inch on each side of this piece of cardstock. You can see me here, I'm using my grid mat and I am counting lines. So each one of those lines on my grid mat is a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to count three lines up from the top, from the bottom, and in from each side and mask this off. This is just going to give kind of new life to a stencil. I'm using the wonky line stencil. And because this is such a fine detailed stencil, I sprayed the back of this with Pixie Spray really well so that each one of those lines would adhere onto my card and wouldn't move as I'm doing my ink blending. I'm going to use just two colors of ink. I have Bee Sting Yellow and Peacock Blue Atelier ink. And I'm going to allow these inks to overlap so that I create a nice kind of a limey green color in the center where those colors overlap. And I'm just going to work these colors back and forth. I am trying to go with the grain of the stencil. So I'm creating little circles with my blender brushes like normal, but I'm also making sure that when I'm really pressing hard, I'm going horizontally with the grain of that stencil so that I don't shift any of those little lines. I decided to add some extra texture. I love to add black spatter onto my cards. So I dipped a paintbrush in some water and then into my black watercolor and just flicked some onto my background. Then I will dry that with my heat tool so that when I remove my tape, it doesn't smudge. Now I'm gonna remove my masking tape and you can see here how I've created that kind of center portrait style of ink blending with just a regular stencil and some masking and it kind of gives new life to your stencils rather than creating a whole background you're able to create a focal point for your stenciling. I'm using the Magical Dragon stamp set. This is one of my favorite Ink on 3 stamp sets and it's actually the very first stamp set that I ever purchased from Ink on 3. These dragons are absolutely adorable and I just love them. I'm going to color them with Copic markers, so I was sure to stamp them with my Ink on 3 Blackout Hybrid Detail Ink, since this is the best ink for pretty much any kind of coloring. You can use watercolors with this ink, colored pencils, or even markers. So I always encourage you to color with whatever you are most comfortable with. So for this first dragon here, I decided to make him like a rusty orange color. So I have E08, YR24, I think I did, and then Y16 and Y14. I'm using some blue green for his scales and for his wings. So BG13, BG34, and then BG10. You'll see as I color that I turn my cardstock as I color. I turn it whichever way is most comfortable for me. So I tend to try to color the outside first and then work my way towards the inside. So if I ever have to color towards the outside, I will color or turn the image so that I'm coloring away from me. It's easier for me to see the outside line if I am working towards it. So I'll kind of turn my paper back and forth as I'm coloring. Again, do whatever makes you comfortable for coloring. I'm coloring this little dragon here with some blue violet markers and then I will accent his wings and his little horns and spines with some yellow. And then that last dragon I colored off camera with some kind of uh, gray green colored markers. I'm going to arrange them all onto my background and then just pop them up with some foam tape. I did stamp a sentiment from that Magical Dragon stamp set and I cut that out into a sentiment strip and then I used my scissors to flag the edges. I'm just again using some foam tape, I'm making sure that I'm popping up. I loved that little guy who's, he can be either blowing flames or smoke. There's one of each in the stamp set, but I wanted him to have some flames. Now you could definitely leave the card as is, but I decided to go ahead and add some liquid pixie dust onto each of these dragons. I think that it really brings a bit more magic to them and makes them super cute. So this is my finished card. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I'll see you again very soon. Bye. 
Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.